Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm going to be going through your Element M15. First thing you're going to need to know about your new boat is how to take it to the lake. So we're going to go over your trailer, going to kind of run through the safety, the basics of it, how to tow it, hook up, stuff like that. And then we'll get you on your way and out the door. So first things first, you're going to pull your truck up to the latch here. Make sure you're in line as much as possible. If you are a little bit off, you can move it around just a little bit. So as long as your ball is a two inch ball and for your two inch receiver, you're going to lower the trailer down until the ball is fully connected into the receiver, just like that. And then your stand here will come all the way up and be clear. So you'll take your latch, as long as your ball is in all the way, pull the latch lever, push down on the latch itself until it clicks, and it's all locked in. Then you'll take your keyway here, put it through the hole, and lock that in place as well. Okay, next step, you'll take your safety chains here, unwind them from the trailer, and you want to go across to the opposite pocket on your truck and then clip them in. Just like that. Okay, you want to leave them loose so that when you turn they don't bind up. After that, you have your connector here, whether it's four pin, five pin, or the seven round, it all connects the same with your receptacle here. If you don't have the seven pin and you have a four on your trailer, you can't get an adapter to go in between those two. So you get your adapter and you plug it in. It only goes in one way. Make sure it's seated properly, your connections are good. And you lift up the slot here. This also only goes in one way. You have a slot up top. You push that in all the way and make sure it's there. And then this will sit on top and lock it in place. Okay, you wanna make sure everything's connected. All these are hooked up. So part of your safety checklist for traveling with your boat is you're going to make sure that your winch is really tight with the hook on your boat here up against the roller. You want to make sure that it is all the way, it won't move, and this won't bounce when you're going down the highway. Okay. This here for your trailer jack, you have a handle which you'll pull out and then you'll move your trailer jack forwards so that the wheel is up in the back. So if the trailer jack falls for any reason, your wheel will just spin and it won't cause any damage to it. On your way by, you'll check your lights. Make sure they're all working. You have marker lights along the front, as well as on your fender here. And we'll get to your wheel. So your wheel tire pressures should be on a sticker in the front, or this should be around 50 to 60 PSI maximum. You're also gonna wanna pull your bearing buddy cap and check to make sure that the oil is, or the grease is fully in and you have greased it and is moving freely and good to go. You can check it every now and then. It doesn't have to be all the time. If you go out of the water and you notice something's running, then you should check it for sure. Okay, you can keep going around the side of the boat here. You'll check your marker lights on the back as well. The lights on the truck are on the uh, running light setting. So then all of your lights should be lit up. You're going to need a second person to help you out either in the truck or back here to make sure that your brake lights work and your turn signals work. So you can get the person in the truck to check your brake lights, make sure they all come on. And then you're going to want to check left turn signal and right turn signal and make sure everything's functioning properly. These here are your transom straps. They go from your boat to your trailer. So you're going to check and make sure these are tight. You have Velcro on the front to release the strap here. And then you release it just by lifting this lever. You want to pull it just a little bit snug. And then you'll tighten down this lever right here until it clicks, just like that. Then you can bundle up the extra slack on itself. And then use the Velcro to hold it in place. Once it's all tucked away, you can grab on it and make sure it's not going anywhere, okay? You're gonna check and see if your motor is trimmed all the way up. If you have a transom saver or you have a trim lock on the other side, you wanna make sure it is on either of those to protect it from bouncing down the highway. 
So we're going to be going over your motor. This is for any Mercury 50 and 60 four stroke outboard. They run the same chassis, basically the same thing. So if you have either one of those, this will help you out. So for starters, you have a trim switch on the cowl right here, just underneath it. It goes up and down. As well as with your trim switch, you have a trim lock right here. So when you're traveling, you're going to want to trim your motor all the way up, just like this. And you have a trim lock here. You push in the trim lock and come all the way up until you see this notch here. And you'll trim it down until it locks. Now it's ready for travel. It won't bounce around. So when you're working on the motor itself, first thing you're going to do is take off the cowl. There's a latch in the back. Pull out on the latch and it'll pop up. You have a handle right here. And if you lift up and come forward with it, then you can take your cowl straight off. Over on this side of your motor here, you have your engine oil dipstick right here, engine oil filter as well. Okay, so when you're changing your engine oil, which will be once a year, your drain is on this side down here. You'll undo the drain, drain out all of your oil, plug it back up, and then change your engine oil filter while you're in here. On this side here, you have your oil fill with this yellow plug right here, and you have your fuel filter, which is this guy here. On your yearly service where you change your oil, you'll also change your lower unit oil down here. Okay, so you have two plugs, one at the top and one at the bottom. The bottom is your initial drain. You'll take this plug out. If you're just checking the lower unit oil, any that dribbles out, you'll be able to look at the color, make sure it's okay. If you're changing it, You'll drain it from out of here and open this up and it'll all drain smoothly. Then when you're ready to put it back in, you will pump oil up through this plug here and until it starts coming out this time. Once it comes out here, you'll plug up the top and then plug up the bottom and then you're done. Maintenance schedule and service schedule is up top. Every year you're gonna change your engine oil and filter and your lower unit oil. Every three years, you're going to do your impeller, your fuel filter, and then you're also gonna check and change your spark plugs. To put your cowl back on, you're gonna hold it in both hands here, put it over top, slide it all the way down, and you're gonna push the front backwards until it seats properly. Then when you have it kind of where it needs to be, you'll grab the top and push down until it clicks, just like that. Now the cowl's on. When you start up your motor and your motor's running, water will come out of the telltale here, making sure that it's going through the motor, cooling it. So when you see water coming out of here, you know it's working properly. So when you're traveling with your boat, law requires you to have your drain plug out so you don't carry water with you, okay? When you go to launch your boat, you'll take your drain plug, thread it in the brass hole here until it's tight get a crescent wrench and tighten it all the way up, make sure it's very sealed, and then you're good to launch your boat. Break in on your Mercury 50 or 60 horse is the first three tanks of fuel. So vary the throttle, all ranges of operation, first three tanks of fuel, then it'll be all broken in and good to go. On the back here, you have your ladder, it folds out just like this. You have a rubber strap, you can slide it all the way back, and then extend the ladder. Once you get back in, after you've climbed your ladder, you can bring it back up, slide it all closed, hook it shut again, and then put it back in its spot. So inside your boat here, inside the M15, you have a bunch of storage options. So under your seats here, you can pick up all your seats. Underneath, you have a bunch of storage space for whatever you could need. Okay, there's one here. You have some cup holders up front. This front storage is perfect for a cover. You lift up the front here, slide it a little bit back and out of the way. And you have hooks in there for the post for your cover itself. And your cover can fit nicely in there. You want to slide it forwards to get it in and make sure everything's seated properly. Okay, coming around to this side here, again, you grab your seats, pull them up, a bunch more storage in there. Push it down, make sure everything's seated. And again, right here, same thing. In here will be your manual, spare key, stuff like that, anything to help you out. You have some more cup holders right here. Moving towards the back of your boat, 
on this side here, under this seat. You want to lift up in the back and slide it backwards as you go, because there's a latch on the front, okay? Under here will be your battery. Anytime you have any electrical issue, check your battery connections. And then again, because of the hook, in order to put it back, you want to slide the front in towards the front. Just like that, okay? Under the middle here, with turning these a quarter turn, you can pull your straps off, and then this is where your external fuel tank is. Okay, so you have a vent here. Anytime you are running your motor, anytime there's fuel in it, you need to open your vent, okay? There is a gas gauge here. So putting this guy back on, you flip it over, back on the same way. If you want, this cushion is removable. It's just snapped to this board here. And you can remove this cushion. You have a good walkway for any swimmers, stuff like that. Okay. This corner here is the same as this one. Okay. This corner here is the same as this one over here. You want to lift up and slide back. And you just have some extra storage back here. So the last thing we're going to go over is your helm here. So we'll go over your gauge. You have your speedometer here as well as battery voltage. You have a key switch on and off, just like that. This here is a little slot for insurance to keep it nice and dry, just in case you want to put it in there. You have your steering wheel here. Over on this side for your switches, you have anchor lights, running lights, your bilge pump switch, an accessory if you want to install any accessories in the future, and your horn switch here. You have the option of a 12 volt plug if you want to charge your phone while you're on the move. And that's basically it for your switches here. So moving to your throttle, this is your throttle handle. On your throttle you have trim up and down switches so that you can trim while you're moving. This red handle allows you to come out of neutral and to go forward. Once you're done, go back to neutral, click the red handle in again, and you can go into reverse. In order to start your unit, you need to make sure that you are in neutral here, and then you have a tether switch. It says run on it. This tether needs to be in the up position in order for your boat to start. You can attach it to your life jacket, and then place it in the switch, and lift up on the red handle there, and then it is in the run position and it will start. If for whatever reason your motor is not starting, check and make sure you're in neutral, that your tether switch is in the up position, and lastly, if that still doesn't work, make sure your battery connections are tight. This right here is your stern light, it's stored in the bow. It's foldable, it has a screw on it. What you're gonna do is put it in this slot here, it goes in one way, push down until it's seated, and then turn this plastic thread insert until it's tight. Since it is foldable, you'll fold it upright and do the same thing up here. And then once it's tight, your stern light is in and you're good to go. If you have any questions, you can call your salesman here at Ron's Marine at 237-5800. You can also reference your owner's manual and you can go to mercury.com. They have a bunch of videos on their website. Those are also a good resource if you need anything else.